Let's write this fraction as an equivalent percent. To do so, remember, we'll multiply by 1, but 1 in the form of 100 percent. Multiplying a fraction by 1, of course, does not change its meaning or its value, and I'm multiplying by 1 again in the form of 100 percent. So this is 3 over 8 times, I'll write the 100 as 100 over 1, and this is our percent. We just need to simplify. Remember how we multiply fractions? Numerator times numerator over denominator times denominator. So I'll write that as numerator times. Now at the same time, if you don't mind, I notice 8 and 100 have a common factor of 4. So I'll write 100 as 4 times 25, and I'll write 8 as 2 times 4. Again, that is our percent. But now we can see the common factor that we are dividing out. I have 3 times 25, which is 75, over 2. So this is 75 over 2 percent. If you go off to the side and divide, equivalently, that is 37 and a half percent, or 37 and 5 tenths percent. Either one, and this is the percent equivalent of this fraction.